I look okay? Uh, you, look, you look fine. I know, I know, I really do. Generation Z is full of the most creative and intellectual human beings. We've all, we're all creators of our own content. Me, as a social media influencer, I work really hard. Ooh, that is perfect. Yes. This is how I get so many likes. Just look at that. Of course, I pay thousands of dollars to my videographer and editor, but all the real talent comes from me. Can you take a picture of me? I need to take a picture. Go. Stand right there. I, I like that angle right here. Right here? Right there, right there, right there. Don't move. Ready? I'm yeah. so tired of this generation. I should have been born in the 70s. I'm kind of like a free spirit. My mom says it's a phase, but it's a lifestyle. Wow, you're such an edgy teen. Shut up. In this generation, it's all about the people like me. We're all about hanging out and just chilling. As you know, Saturdays are for the boys. Hey, listen, I'm done. What's good? Dude, I'm so excited for this party this weekend. Bro, who invited you? Sam. Can y'all shut up? Y'all are such peasants. What is your problem? Okay, dude, we get it. You're just mad and angsty at the world. Bro, where even is she? Hi, can I have a caramel macchiato, two pumps of caramel, and two pumps of vanilla? Make sure it's 50. You don't want to see me without my coffee. I don't know. It's just, I don't really fit in with people my age. I listen to really underground music that no one's really heard before, you know? Suicide Boys, they're my favorite. Can I get like a large black coffee? Like black, like black like my soul? Tiffany? Oh yeah. I don't know what her deal is. She acts like she doesn't want me, but everybody does. I'm kind of a chick magnet. Oh, we didn't ask you that. Wait, what was the question? Oh, hey Penny, would you want to go out with me on Saturday? Oh wait, can you say that one more time? I think this will be really great content for my next video. Um, I was just wondering if you wanted to go out on Saturday and maybe like go to a movie or something. Doesn't really make sense to me. Penny walks around the hallways with a whole camera crew, but she has like 15 subscribers. She thinks she's some kind of like YouTube celebrity. Hey guys, my new video is coming on at four o'clock tonight. Make sure you go like and subscribe. Hit that smash button, you can do it. Love you guys. I wish everyone would just step away from their technology sometimes. I just got a record player. Not sure how to use it, but when I do, it's gonna be so sick. Do you want him to be in my new video? I'm trying to make a transformation video so I can get him from a two to a ten. A two? I'm a two? Yep. No, I don't want to be a two to a ten. Thanks, though. I think, like, everyone at our school is, like, a huge, like, family. I think it's, like, really, really, like, difficult to live in the world that we, like, live in. Very difficult. We just released a couple days ago, and my girl Cardi B is up for five nominations, which is probably the most in her whole entire career. But what's also pretty interesting is how Cardi's former husband Offset was seen with five different females during the brief engagement. Not cool, Offset, but it's all good because my girl, she's pushing through and she's still a boss lady. But on the bright side, that's five more nominations than Nicki Minaj. Eight years in the industry, Nicki, and not one single Grammy. I guess that means that starships really weren't meant to fly, but don't go anywhere because it's going to be a good show. I hope y'all enjoy. Stop. PDA is not allowed. 
I said, stop. PDA is not tolerated at school. Wait, who, what camera am I looking at? And welcome back to Cooking with Tater Top Thompson. As always, I have my sidekick, Ryan, with me today. Today we will be cooking our fam my famous rosemary chicken with butter noodles. So first things first, get this plate right here. I'm gonna slap this chicken breast right here. And so what you do, see it. Hey, hold on, let me go. You, you put a bunch of pepper on it. Five minutes later. You should put the salt on now. Be sure to apply a lot of salt. Turn on your oven to high. First things first, we're gonna beat the meat a little bit. Makes it nice and tender. You're gonna wanna cook one side pretty pretty crispy, and then the other side, you don't you don't need to uh, flip to the other side, just have it a little raw. Wouldn't that just burn one side and the other side's raw? Dude, I'm the head chef here. Alright. Alright, so now that the chicken is done, as you can tell, it is nice and crispy. So you can plate this now. Will you hand me some flour? Just put a little on the top. But you're doing it all wrong. Why don't you put so much flour on? Because the flour brings out the taste in the chicken. You can't even taste the chicken, you're tasting flour. Cause you would know, it's, it's, it's your cooking show now, huh? That's all I'm saying, I'm just saying you don't know how to cook. I don't know how to cook, then why don't you just get out? You know what, forget you. Alright. Bro! Oh! What? Get out! Now that Ryan's finally out of the picture, we can finally start to get to cooking. So now we're gonna open the noodle packet. Having a little trouble here. Oh, always so hard. Oh, there we go. Put those in there. Alright. Now we turn off the water. And bring it over to the stove. You can never use the same stove. So you gotta put it over here. And yeah, that's how you make the noodles. Cut. Okay. So now that we have the noodles on high, we're gonna cook them for 20 minutes, and I'll see you after the commercial break. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Awesome. <laughs> so now that the noodles are finally finished, I'm gonna grab my colander right here. Get the noodles over here. Oh my! Okay, so now that everything has been been prepared on the meal, we have our chicken right here that's been sitting for about an hour. But now we're gonna plate the noodles. And you'd like to circle the noodles around the chicken. It, it just makes the plate look a lot nicer, and I think it tastes better. More scoop. And finally, just sprinkle, just sprinkle a little bit more flour. Perfect. And lastly, my secret ingredient, just splash a little bit of OJ on it. Thanks for watching Tater Top Thompson's fine dish of rosemary chicken. Next time, we'll be making frosted flakes with a slight touch, so join us next week. And that's all we have for you today. Crap, I forgot butter. You looking for me?
Yes, you. Come on. Took you long enough. I'm gonna do. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. For nice manners. Your money records the army the next Oh, 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 let me get the team like on. Wait, where do you need to go? Tracy and Katie, I trust where do you need to go? Never betrayed. Uh, Man, the place I told you. When I started out, I just what place? The Did place I told you. Okay, you don't go where I tell you to go. You don't got time oh, for this. Hey. You know what? I'm going this way. As soon as I, you can go. We got ends in the back like yes. Honey, I guess it's I won't even pick you. Yellow Ferrari like Pikachu. I'm waiting and watching where he going. Woo! Hey, hey, ooh, ooh, cop, 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 cop. Hold on, when he go around the corner, I can speed. All right. The Pizza Hut. Let's go to Pizza Hut real quick. Pizza Hut! I think you're going over the speed limit just a tiny bit. I'll pay attention to that. DA got that dope. Oh! What? What? Oh! Yeah! Oh! 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 Probably like something like, like this crap. You don't like the song? No. What kind of music you like then? So we try to find a different song. What is this? What is this? Okay. Oh, I have a good song. I have a really okay. good song you might like.
As you guys could tell, being an Uber driver can get pretty crazy, but nothing's as crazy as the lives of celebrity siblings. So you guys go check it out. guys, so as you all know, the holidays are coming up and this Christmas season, while your family is all getting together, uh, how's that going to make you guys feel? What are you guys going to be thinking with all your siblings and being second or fifth? Well, you know, my brother's Justin Timberlake and he's got better moves than me. He can sing, but I'm still trying to bring sexy back and it's not working for me right now, but I think it will someday. And uh, how are those tickets? Are you working on that? Oh, yeah, I got you. Oh, okay. All right, so you're new to the circle. Why don't you introduce yourself? All right, my name is Nate McIntyre, uh, a.k.a. TK's little brother, and he's a famous SoundCloud rapper. But you'd think I'd be the favorite because, you know, I get good grades in the classroom, polite, not in jail, but for some reason they chose him over me. And I think plenty of the people in the circle can relate to you with that. Anyone else have any comments to say? I, I, um, personally speaking, I'm, I'm very fond of TK's music. I'm a big fan. So, so Brayden, you have uh, three outstanding siblings above you. How does that really make you feel when the holidays come around? Um, for, for some of y'all who don't know me, I belong to the Wahlberg family. I have three older siblings who are much more successful than me. Uh, I applied for a job at Wahlburgers, which is my brother Paul's restaurant, but I didn't get accepted. And it's just my, my parents don't support me as much as they support them. Does anyone have any words of support for Br That's crazy, I work there at Wahlburgers? Yeah. yeah. Support. Okay, uh, what do you have to share with us? Uh, my name's Luigi Lopez. I'm the younger brother of Mario Lopez, you know. The guy from Saved by the Bell. He has his own show. He hosts some MTV show. My parents always thought, you know, he was better than me, but in my eyes, we're practically identical. You know, I work at Walgreens. I see that as the same as hosting a TV show. All right, Mr. Shibo, you haven't said anything yet. What do you have to say? Alright guys, I'm uh, Chang Shibo, my brother's Wang Shibo, the uh, ping pong champion 2018. Um, I think that the reason why my parents like him more is because he has better potential in life than I do. I'm not going anywhere. I have straight D's in school, so, yeah. Alright guys, well I think this was a really productive meeting. Um, I wish you guys the best for these hard times for this holiday season and I hope I see you guys all in two weeks. See you later. Thanks guys for watching the show. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as y'all could probably tell from the sketch, if you ever get me as an Uber driver, just take the bus. Just take the bus.